So um, this spectrohelicograph is came uh, pre-calibrated, uh, but if you ever need to, you know, um, do some calibration, uh, refocus the lens, or refocus the collimator, uh, then uh, here is the procedure. I, I will uh, give you a quick uh, recap of the focus, uh, calibration process. First, you have to focus this lens with the camera at infinity, uh, which is uh, and for if uh, with the solid, it has a uh, lens assembly that you can take out and uh, refocus uh, and focus is on a far object, far away object. Obviously, you cannot take out this assembly. So, how do you refocus the lens, uh, the camera lens? You do that by removing the collimator lens here. You have the uh, camera lens and the rating and the uh, collimator tube like this. You can look through this hole here on the uh, on the camera to the camera lens. So the next step is to use this grating as a mirror. You loosen this grab screw here so this grating can turn freely you turn it to the zero order here and then lock the screw uh, at this angle this mirror reading will act as a mirror to reflect the incoming beam from this hole here and you mount your uh, your SHG into a um, a dovetail by this two screw M5 two screw here. This is uh, M5 screw. You use short screw so it will stick in, and you uh, mount it into a tripod or a mount and point it at a far away object. Then you put on your camera. Okay, so now you have your uh, collimator and your slit remove and you have uh, a clear path optical path from the uh, front of the shg to the grating now the next step is to put on the camera here uh, and please be noted that you should put the long edge i don't see, know if you can see it here let me see if I can adjust the exposure. Yeah. The long edge of the camera will be point to the to the micrometer here, like this. The long edge point to the micrometer here. Always orientation your camera should be like that. You don't have to be 100% precise because we will make that adjustment later. Okay, so now you have the camera installed and uh, you have the camera installed, connected to the computer. Uh, first thing we gonna do the uh, camera focus adjustment. We need to focus it on infinity. And we need to choose far away building. Uh, as you can see here, uh, this building here is about two kilometer away and that is far enough any closer and your camera is not focused at, at true infinity and that one is called a cause trouble later down the line so choose a object far enough for this okay so now we adjust the camera exposure so we can better see what is going on here okay so as you can see, the um, camera is, uh, the grating is now acting as a mirror, but it is a little bit off to the side, so I will use the micrometer here, 
to adjust so that we have an even illuminated imaging circle okay so I think it is good I will decrease the exposure again to let it just be focused okay I think we are good but we are now a lot of our focus so first thing first use your allen key to loosen the rub screw on the camera here and then move the sleeve up and down until you reach a rough focus you don't have to be precise with this focus just for focus is enough okay I think we're good here now tighten the drop screw and use our line on the center the image so it has better you know okay now we can you you can use the micrometer here you can see it very smooth and easy to adjust the focus all right i think we're good here let's go out and in again to confirm all right i think we're good Okay, so now you have the uh, camera focus at infinity. You have put on, uh, put back the uh, collimator lens back on and the uh, micrometer back on. You put the uh, the cover back on and the slit also. You put the slit back on. Now you what you see here on the screen is the uh, slit, and it is way out of focus as you can see so now we want adjust to find the focus the sleep for the sleep as you can see the uh, focus adjustment with the micrometer is very smooth you can make fine adjustment easily okay i think we are close now let's Reduce the gain to better see what we are doing here. Let's zoom in. Maybe uh, change the change the uh, RMI liquid so we can have better light feet of what we are doing. Okay, let's reduce the exposure a little bit more, maybe lowering the gain again. Okay. As you can see, the focus is very smooth with virtually zero backlash. Let's go out again and go in again. Yeah, we are on the other side. Now let's go back. Yeah, I think we're good now. We're good here. Yeah. Okay. Now let's zoom all the way out. Yeah, we have the slit in sharp focus here. Now let's check the um you know the um the spectrum uh use the indicator on the coating here turn it to eight alpha okay and then we lock the uh the um rating die here uh please be noted that if you open the this set screw here 
this uh, breaking die will rotate freely. But if you lock it, uh, you will can use this micrometer here to make minor other um, micro adjustment. Okay, it is very dark now. Let's increase the exposure. Maybe increasing the gain. And do a strap. Yeah. Yeah, we have the eight alpha line here. Let's sensor it using the micrometer. Oops, we go back. That's it. Let's go back again. All right. Not too much. All right, I think we're good, I think. Now let's check if the spatial line is sharp. Yeah, I think we are good. The spatial line, as you can see, is very sharp. The two edge of the slit is also very sharp, which is a good sign. And the slit is very clean. Okay, I think we are good now. So that is how you do the calibration of the SHG. Um, you don't have to do this uh, because this one is already uh, calibrated outside of the box. But if you uh, someday, if you want to do it, this is how you do it correctly. Okay, so that is everything I have to share. Thank you.